Tomar, my home. Amazing! As long as I breathe, the city is not lost. Crap! Come on, hurry up! That was close. What sort of shack is that? That smell is atrocious. For the love of goodness, all of you. do that. She is the queen. Whatever. Let's get to the city. I wonder how deep the water is. Sadly, you coming? Yeah, yeah. What's the plan? Or are we supposed to huddle under Rini's coat? We take the sewers. They'll take us right to the Valley of Fallen Gods. That's where Shauna lives? Cool! The Seekers will tear us apart when we set foot on that bridge. That's why we'll use a bomb as a distraction. Come on! Madness. Come on, Noah. Let's go. What are you talking about? I am Sadwick. Just come on. Countdown has begun. Shouldn't it? Shh. Holy shh. Shit. 
<laughs> See? Told you so. What now? How are we supposed to get to Shana? Don't ask me for advice. You'll end up disappointed. Okay. So I'll just do the opposite of what you're going to tell me. Can't you just climb across? I might look the part, but I don't have superpowers. What do we do now? According to my calculations, we would need four years of non-stop rain to swim across. What now? All we can do is pray. Guys, help me get that plank over the chasm. And then step on that end, all of you. Good idea. Do you really think I could toss you over there like that? <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> yes, buddy, you're doing great. No! The plank is too light! Pull back! No, the plank is too light. Try making yourself heavier. Buddy, you're doing great. Oh, gods of balance, bestow your blessings upon us. Is below us also an option?
is gonna end badly. You can do it, Spotty. All you need is a good start. Pick the right moment to jump. Focus on your target. Safe, I'll be with you. <laughs> Spotty! Oh no! Called it. We gotta have spots. He fell in the water. He'll survive. Make haste! Come, Green, really quick. Good spots. We'll gather our people and meet at the port, okay? Okay. Hey, I don't care about your people. I want to get to Shauna. No one's going to stop you. Looks like the people of Kalimar were pretty pissed at their gods. Samuel talked about one god, but did he have so many faces? Jane has called one of them the Great Gambler. Must be the boss of the Pantheon. They should probably have taken the False Queen's head instead. Rini? Kira? Where are you? Lantern without a candle is like Noah without Rini. Why is this guy crying? Wow, a statue of Rini. Makes sense. She's the queen after all. There's a statue of Kira. Maybe because she's a warrior. Sad Whoa! Way. Man, am I glad to see you. You look good. Way better than last time. Our last encounter wasn't exactly what I'd call a fond memory, but, uh, no hard feelings, right? I mean, it's not your fault you tell people things they don't want to hear. It's an occupational hazard, I guess, for an oracle. And you're still the same clown. statues out there. Are they really Rini and Kira? They are. But why? Why? This is a test for you, Sadwick. A test that has already begun. Are you able to do the right thing this time, Sadwick? Of course. You can start by freeing Rini and Kira. By giving them their lifelines back. I will provide you with a magical throne. <sighs> Remember, the throne is a symbol for the ruler of silence. And it will work accordingly. Do you understand? So... I give life lights to Rini and Kira while sitting on the throne. Just give it a try. Is that Rini's candle? Or Kira's? Kira? 
Yes, score! Finding Kira's candle was easy enough. I thought it would take you much longer. Why did you petrify Rini and not me? Do you wish to stand idle and leave Rini behind? You are a part of her story, and you can decide what you want to be, a burden or a boon. Why are you testing me and not Rini? I'm just a figment of her imagination after all. You just answered your own question. Do you think, just because you're not real, you should hold her back? As a part of Rini's fantasy, you directly influence her actions. There is great power in that. Which one's Rini's candle? Is it that one? How am I supposed to put a candle in her hand like that? Kira taking a shower looked a little different in my head. The candle represents Kira. Nothing. I'll find your candle too, Rini. I mean, of course there's nothing happening. Kind of comforting, though, that Kira isn't clean. Handles too long. If brute force won't work, just use more of it. This whole Kira's lifelike thing is just metaphorical, isn't it? I mean, the candle length doesn't have anything to do with her actual lifetime, right? Right? That's more like it. The light of life is a shard. That's a pretty good deal for me. Only true royal hearts will reflect in the shard. There it is! Careful now. Kira didn't come back to life when I gave her the candle. As I said, only when both of them hold their lifelights will the spell be lifted. You're holding Rini's life in your hands. Try not to sneeze. Okay.
Rainy's got both hands full. She can't hold her candle like that. If only he'd stop crying for a minute. And stop. Why did Shauna put such a burden on her? The burden of being the Queen of Silence is heavy enough. And now leap, you little hopper. Sadwick! Ew, what's the big idea? And what am I supposed to do with the lantern? Don't throw it away! You look like a grandma. Huh? Your hair. You look older. Hey, you know what? Shauna is waiting for us in there. Come on. All right, I did it! Here we are. Come closer. Ah. Are you Shauna? Great Shauna. We want to put an end to the False Queen, and we finally have the Shard to find her. I know. You're even more awesome than I thought. Hey, where is it? It was here, here a second it is. ago. I got it. Why? Give it to me. Shh. Yes. This is a shard from the mirror Sadwick once destroyed. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I'd like extra salt with my wound, please. Does the shard really have the power to lead us to the throne room? The light that lets hope shine over the seas. The light at the world's end. Huh? Now she's talking like Janus. The world's end? I always knew silence was a dead end. The throne room is somewhere in the sea. I knew it! We have a ship, so let's go! Yes, that and even more. With it, the mirror will be restored again. The land will heal. The false queen will vanish, and with her, the seekers. That's exactly what we want. And lost souls will find their way home. Hear my prophecy. Sadwick? <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, me too. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> yes. Uh... Shut up, clown! Listen carefully. Prophecy tells. At this day's end, only one of you will enter the throne room. Oh. Uh. Rights will invert, and the false queen will reflect in the mirror. No, she won't! It's the prophecy. She sent the Seekers, killed our families, took away everything we held dear! Give me the shard! Hey! You heard it! Only one of us will enter the throne room, and that'll be me. Kira, you don't want to do this. Well, watch me. <sighs> oh my. Now go, and fulfill the prophecy. Um, all on my own? <laughs> what I want most right now is my brother. We only have an imaginary version of him in supply, and I'm afraid that is not even the best one. I don't care. Just free him, please. First, tell me why. There is a saying about clouds. If Nora is a cloud, Sadwick is the rain. And if I can't have the cloud, then... then... You'll have the puddle? Right. Easy enough, isn't it? If that is the case, he shall be yours. Oh, thank you. What the? Ow, oh, my back! Oh, Sadwick! Careful. This old clown needs to stay in one piece. Right, come on. Let's get going before Kira wakes up. So what's next? We have to sail out while holding the shard into the light, right? Or with wings. Can't you give us wings? Please, Miss Shauna. 
Come on, Rini. We can do this on our own. Let's go to the port. Bye, Mishana. Yeah. See you soon. Then again, maybe not. Keep her safe, fool. <laughs> <laughs>